Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how you can apply this type of frames on this image. So, in the previous video, I will show you how you can save this image and how you can blur this background. So, if you don't watch my previous video, Please watch that video so you can understand this project easily. Okay, so now in this video, I will show you how you will create this type of list view with this type of frames. And when I click on some frame, you will see that frame will apply outside this image. And if I click on this, you will see, if I click on this frame, you will see the background is changed. So, these are all frames which you can apply on the image. So, first I have to create this list view. And after that, we write some code for on click. And then in the next video, I create a tab layout here. And I, uh, I make some changing in this layout. And in the last video, I will show you how you can save this image. So when user click on button and select some image from the gallery I show that image here but when user select some filter and when user select some frame like if I select this filter and I select this frame this button will save the image without this frame and this filter because in the last video i simply saved the image which user select from the gallery without this filter and without this frame so inshallah in the next video i will show you how you can save the image with this selected frame and filter also now move to the code and this is code which I will show you in the previous video. So first of all you will see this type of backgrounds I store here. So this is the list view where I store all that images inside this frame variable and you will also know I paste that whole images inside this asset folder you will see here. So and also I write some images here 1, 2, 3, 4. And for remaining frames, I just write here assets. So here is the list view frame, and inside this frame, I store all the images. So basically, these are 11 frames. Then move to the forward. Here I create a function and inside this function I write the code for that list view. For this list view. And inside this function you will see 
I simply create a container and inside this I create a list view and inside this list view I simply pass the index and I write horizontal for the horizontal scrolling and you will see here I call an other function and inside this function I, uh, I simply pass index and, and frame so for the first time when this function is called the index is 0 and it pass the first image inside our frame list so when this apply frame function is called I show you the code here apply function and here I have created a text button and inside this text button I perform on click action okay and if I show you this layout I create this layout so here inside this container first I give height and width so height is 50 height of this container whole container and the width is 70 okay so I decorate this container with this image and this image is coming from this so you will see here I pass the image from here so when the index is 0 it, sh it will show the first image which I store inside this list view ok so I pass this image here and I write this box fill dot fill which uh, fills the whole container so basically this background image fill the whole container and in this child I simply pass this white image to make a frame so basically I pass this white uh, image here so that the whole image is looks like a frame because this is the whole image if I will show you this image you will see this is the whole image so I want to make this image looks like frame that's why I paste a white image here like this okay and you will see here is the image white.png so white the if you see this image this is white image so that's why this image is looks like a frame okay so now I will tell you what is the code for on click so here is the code for on click I create a variable okay here and I save the image inside this asset image so once the user click on some image I save that image inside this acid image one okay okay so now in the previous video I will show you when user select some image the image appears here and in the background I create this image blur 
and put into the background. So very first time when user did not select any filter and when user did not select any frame, I will show image and then I blur this image and put into the background in the first step when user select nothing. But if user select some filter, you will see filter is applied and backgrounds remain same because I do not apply the filter on the background. But if user select some frame, then frame is applied in the background. Okay. So you will see I make the condition here. This is the previous video code. Inside we create a container and inside this container I create a condition which is if the acid image is equals to null that in this condition I simply show the image which users left from the gallery and make it blur. Okay. But you will see here if this condition is false which means in that time the user select some background image in that case the acid image is equals to the image which user selected so this code runs and inside this code I simply show that image which user selected inside the background and make it blur and for blur in the last video I put 5 here because I want to make more blur but now inside this video I make it some less blur so the frame appears nicely okay so this is the code and here if I run this code you will see I can select the frames I can select this frames I can select these filters okay so in the next video I will show you how you can save this whole image with this frame and with this image and also I create a tab layout and make some changing and provide some more functions and I will provide the link of this code in the description box and if you want to get the code you will see the description box also please like the video subscribe the channel and share with your friends and I have many playlist of different programming languages if you want to get some code and video please follow my video and share with your friends inshallah see you soon allah hafiz